Hello everybody, this is Sam from SD Media. Today, I am chilling at AJ's. AJ's where? In Cornelia, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, I got first mic out. Ooh. I got him out of the bed today. Huh? I woke him up. Yeah. Busy working, man. Nope. Yeah. yeah, so we can start getting our med jams oh. work together. All right. Today we're going to talk about a video me and Mike worked on. It's called Number One. Tell them about it, Mike. Number One. Number One. Ha. Hey, tell you what. First off, man, that video right there going places, man. It's uh, <coughs> something that I've been working on for a while, actually. You know, just letting the people know, man. I'm never in doubt. You know, never give up, man, because I've been told and been quitted on a lot by a bunch of people, you know, just saying I wasn't going to make it or saying this or, you know, whatever, whatnot, but that song inspired me and I hope it inspired a bunch of kids or those who feel like they can't do something, they can do it, you know. Do you know, Mike, when I heard number one, I love that song, I keep pushing, and... We actually did that at 24K. Actually, the song is, what, like, we did it two years? Yeah, this actually, project's two years yeah, in the making. Yeah, two years old, actually. And we didn't give up. At all. And so, I want to inspire the people that are listening to us. How did you keep up when when I felt like I wanted, when I gave up? Man, look, I just knew this something that I knew that some of that back in the day, uh, two years ago now with 24K, man, a lot of that was some of my best work, you know, that I really put my heart into it. And I just knew that that fire. Yeah, so, don't make it. So, I know when we was working, it was a lot of energy. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't know, at that time I couldn't walk. And I was just learning how to walk again. And you helped me a whole lot. And so, that song inspired me because it's number one, and I just never gave up on it. Never gave up on you. That's what I'm saying. And so that's what keep me, kept me wanting to do the project. Right, same here, man. Like I said, that fire never went out, man. It, it's just something that I knew, you know. Once I once uh, I get back get back into what I was good at doing, and I get my man right here, Mr. Sam back on track, you know, I knew that chemistry was going, it was just history in the making, you know, so that's something I wasn't going to give up on until I was going to be at the top of the beginning, just like the song say, you know what I mean, so I hope that song inspired a bunch of y'all, look, two years ago, who knew that song was going to be what it is today, you know what I'm saying, but that's just something, like I say, I wasn't going to give up on, and I'm not going to give up on. And, um, yeah, even, um, I just want to encourage people you, you know I got some issues some health issues I'm going through now but even when I shot the video number one I had a walker with me because I still struggle with standing long, long periods of time but Mike tell me the energy that you had because I know the energy that I had man it was I mean I really can't even explain the energy you know it's something that was just in me at the time that I mean, it, it was just like go. It was, it was on go right there, you know. And just seeing you out there, you know, half handicapped and still got the motivation to get out there and push it, man. I mean, why not? Why can't I even go extra harder, you know? Like I say, man, that song there, it's nothing, it's nothing, I mean, special, but it's something special as in, I mean, it's a, it's a good chant, you know. It's, a, it's something good that everybody could sing whether you're a kid, whether you're old, whether you're, you know, it doesn't matter. That song, anybody can feel that song, you know. I know it's a radio song, but you, who inspired you the most? Was it your little girl? It was. Actually, it's both of them, man, you know. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard feel, man, when you got your kids coming at you saying, Dad, you know, we made you number one. You know, you said on your interview that we make you number one. We make you do what you do because of us. And, I mean, it's true, you know. That push from them, man. I mean, just watching them every day when they sleep and to them getting into things that they're not supposed to get into. You know, it make me want to be the number one dad to go get it. You know, 
give them the things that they want in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, man, it's, it's nothing like the inspiration coming from your babies. I don't care if I have any other fans, but I know they're my number one fans. Gotcha. You know? So, I do it for them, man. So, you believe in investing in yourself? I do. Most definitely. Most definitely. Why, why, why do you have to invest in yourself? <sighs> number one, man. <laughs> You gotta get your own, or you gotta get your own, your own story out. Number one, because nobody else is gonna put your storyline or your life situations in the, uh, say, I wanna say, it, mm, in a song or in a product that you will feel like me being self-made and self-promoting myself. It just put me in positions that I wanna be in, as in who I want to mess with, who I want to deal with. Uh, I pretty much work on my own time, but at the same time, I know there's a job because I got other people depending on me, but just being self-made, self man, self, you know, self-investing, you know, it's really nobody could tell you what sound you want. Can't nobody change you, can't nobody tell you what you want to do, you know, your direction. I mean, you just gotta stay focused. I mean, not saying that you can't take heed or anything, information from somebody from the outside source, but, you know, I just think being independent and self-made is probably the best way, man. You just cut all the BS out and everything else is relevant, man, you know? Yeah, it was a lot of work. Still it a is, lot of work. It is still a lot got of work. more work to go, but, um... Lot, lot. Well... Tell me, when you were doing a video, you believe visual is important, right? Most definitely. Why? Because people want to see, the, the people, the audience want to see what you're working for. And it, it goes back to a saying, if you can see it, you can believe it. If you've seen it with your own eye, you know it's, it's there. But everything you see is not real. A lot of this is facade, but what you did with first mic is what you did with first mic. You know, it's, it's, it's no... Short cause no sugar coat, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not out here stunting, I'm not trying to be nothing I ain't. You know, I'm working with what I work with, you feel me? I'm not no million dollar rapper, none of that, you dig? So I'm coming up and upcoming just like the next man. So with that being said, man, hey, I am what it is, you feel me? So, <laughs> and I'm first mic, so that's, that's, what, that's what it is. You're gonna be with me or you're gonna go against me, you feel me? So I, Sorry for those who go against me, because I'm gone. Gotcha. So you feel that you should only do where you're at? Or, or you're trying to say not be ashamed of where you're at? Never be ashamed where you're at, because you got to start from somewhere. Now, if you're not pushing your product or yourself, and you still in square one, then you should give up. Instead of making a fool out of yourself and being ashamed of yourself. But of course, you know what I'm saying? It, you gotta give the people what you what you're trying to sell. Now, if you're ashamed of your work, that's not a business for you. You gotta be scared to take chances. You gotta be scared to go outside the box. You know what I'm saying? So, don't be a copycat. Don't be trying to uh, 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 carbon copy what everybody else doing. Or, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself. Be official. Be a trendsetter like me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what they think about first, Mike. Like I said, you gonna either be in my boot or you not. You know what I'm saying? Cause when I get to the islands, hey, look. Those who with me, I ain't throwing the rough out there. I'm, hey, look, I'm trying to put seats in right now for those, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. We ain't throwing life rafts out, you feel me? Hey, can't swim, you bound to drown. Just saying. I got you, I got you, I got you. Off top. Yeah, I ain't gonna front either, because I shoot a good amount of videos, and I'm at a certain level, but I can shoot, and I remember when I was in high school, I wanted to be in this class Foxfire so bad. And they told me because my English was bad, okay, that I couldn't take this class. And it's a video class. Uh -huh. Now, I'm just letting all y'all know where I am today. I have a broadcast TV license. I've shot a lot of different things. Different, in different productions. And, and, and I'm doing what I was told I couldn't do. You don't need to be able to read or write to run a camera, but you know what? I got many of them, and it's not bragging, but I just use what God gave me. I'm a visionary, and I want to just keep going, and God, 
allowed me to hook up with you and we got this show, Mad Gems. Yes. And I'ma keep getting in my power chair, yes. my walker, get out there and keep <laughs> doing interviews. God, you know, right, man. I'm pushing folks. Now if that's not inspiration, man, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, this man go hard, bro, 24-7. Not only messing with me, but like I don't even mean, I don't even know how many more. It's probably got about eight, nine more artists. He didn't been shot within the last thirty seven hours, you feel me? I'm talking about videos, interviews, whatever you and still phone still ringing off the hook, you know what I mean? For for people getting at me. But you know what I'm saying, man, look my man, you know, S D Media, Sammy Isaac up, you feel me? Mad Jam first mic. Check the YouTube page out too, Mad Jam. You no, know, go subscribe that thing, you feel me? Check out the video number one, you feel me? Yeah, we we wanna um we're gonna add a video at the end of the show today. Um but I wanted to let y'all know God is in the house with us. Yes. We actually, <laughs> the video is really good. The song is really hitting. So tell them what happened today. What, what, what What's going to happen with that song? It's going on the what? Oh, man. Got to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's going on the air. I mean, it's, 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 look, it's going. I'm going to tell you like that. It's on the radio, folks. Yeah, it's, it's going on the radio, man. Not only just in Georgia, but Louisiana, Texas, you know, surrounding area, man. I mean, y'all go ahead on and vote that thing to be the top one, you feel me? I'm talking about not, no top two, not top three. I say top one, you feel me? Because the name is song number one, I'm saying. But, man, look, you listening for it. Shout out to all my Louisiana people, all my Georgia people, my Texas people in between that support the movement, you feel me? So... I mean, look, Mad Jam's be coming. We about to make a lot of noise, man. I'm telling you. It's love. But that video, y'all gonna be hearing it. Y'all gonna be seeing it on the local social medias from your YouTubes to your uh, uh, Vivos, all that. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead on and like and subscribe that. I'm telling you, go check the page out. Mad Jam's, you know what I'm saying? First mic. Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube me? page. Yeah, go ahead on and subscribe that YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? Mad Jam. You feel me? Love right there, man. Tell me to see it. We're gonna go in the video now. Yeah, we're gonna go in on there and check the video out right now. You know, time subscribe to video, YouTube, Mad Jam. Yeah, first mic.
one before me, number one On the top is where I be, number one No number two and number three, number one F-Y-R-C, number one Number one, number